Today we're going to show you how to web load and laminate on a Raw Sovereign 2701 laminator. First what we need to do is to show you the functions of the machine so you're familiar with the operation of the laminator. On the back of the machine you have your power button. Turn that on, you'll hear a beep. The machine will light up on the control pad to show you the operation functionality of the machine. On the bottom of the machine, you have a run button and also the functions as a stop button. You have a reverse button and it'll only work if the button is depressed. You have a down and an up button that you'll see will light up and change your speeds from 1 to 10. And you also have three temperatures. For the material that we're going to be running today, we need to use the highest temperature, which is 270 to 310 degrees. So by depressing that button, we will get the temperature that we need. As you see, it's flashing. Once it stops flashing, it means we're up to temperature. The first thing we need to do is to load the film on the Raw Sovereign 2701 laminator. By taking our film, we first have to see how the adhesive is rolled onto the film, whether it's adhesive in or adhesive out. On this particular film, it's adhesive in. What we want is to have the film, when it comes down over the rollers, to be away from the roller with your adhesive out. We'll take this film, and first we have to take off the supply shaft. On this side of the machine, you'll see that there's an indent. We need to lift up move this shaft over to that side and we can get the shaft out of the machine. Now we take these thumb screws and remove the hubs that hold the film. Next we'll take our film in the right direction and we're going to insert one hub. This hub will be inserted into the side, into the core of the machine, of the roll. Next, We'll take our hub shaft, and this will go into the machine like so. Take our other hub, put it on the shaft, and slide it into the core of the film. Once it's in there, we're going to load the film back onto the machine by centering into that hole, putting this side into the notch, and dropping this down into the groove. Next, we want to position our film so it's centered and tighten up on the two finger screws. Now we have the film on there, and as you can see, I have the adhesive, so it will not touch the rollers. Next, we have to load the film to the bottom shaft of the laminator. By coming to the front, we'll lift up on this protective cover, take off the table, set it aside, and again, we have to remove our film supply shaft from the laminator. We have a notch here, just bring it in and over, it'll drop out and we remove our two film hubs. Now again, we have to look at our film and see the adhesive on the film. And again, this film is adhesive in. So if we have it positioned this way on the machine, it'll come up and over the rollers with the adhesive out. We again take our hub, place it into the core, take our supply shaft, put it into the roll of film, grab our other supply shaft, put it inside, make sure it's taut, then take our film, Put it in here and lock it into that side and drop this side down. Now we have our film in. We're going to leave this one loose for now 